hi welcome to another video of machine learning so in the last video we have discussed that what is uh, binary uh, uh, logistic regression and we basically discussed that logistic regression model as a probabilistic model okay so this is a binary classification model and also we know that what we mean by logit in logistic regression and <clears throat> and also we discuss some of the important aspects to train a logistic regression model okay so what we have discussed is that suppose in in logistic regression we have seen that if any instance x is there and you have two classes suppose c1 and c2 then your logistic regression classifier can tell you that how much probability that your your instance is uh, it will tell that how much probability it has to whether it is belongs to c1 or c2 okay so it is binary classifier so if it is it predicts that the, it belongs to c1 as probability p then the obviously the probability of having c2 is 1 minus p right but how we can extend this concept to um, to suppose uh, mm, in multinomial classification okay so this is a logistic regression is by default is a uh, is a binomial classifier but we what we are interested to extend it as a multi class classification problem and one of the straightforward uh, uh, way to to achieve multi, uh, multi class multi classes to support multi classes is that you can train multiple models suppose you have three levels in your data set if you have three levels c1 c2 and c3 then what you can do you can do the one versus the rest approach well so where you will you will uh, design different binary classifier for different classes that one will be one C, C1 detector, okay. One another will be C2 detector, and another will be C3 detector. So both all so each of this classifier will be uh, a binary classifier, and then from the uh, the maximum score or maximum uh, probability, you will you will assume that whether it belongs to whether the, any instances belongs to c1 or c2 or c3 okay so this approach is usually used uh, in in many cases but in but in logistic regression we also can use the multinomial regression approach or softmax regression okay so that i am going to discuss today so this is called softmax regression or multinomial logistic regression is used to extend the logistic regression uh, to for mult to support multi classes okay so what is the approach suppose you have a label data set with n classes where n is greater than 2 so we are you are having more than two classes so the idea is uh, pretty simple and the so softmax regression model uh, first compute computes a score it will in the first step it will compute a score for each class k okay so s k of x is the score of the uh, for the inst for the for the class k okay then in the next step it will estimates the probability of each class by applying the softmax function okay also called the normalized exponent okay to the scores so this so basically this are it will becomes a two step approach okay so what i am going to so let's see mathematically what i mean to say so basically <coughs> uh, suppose uh, your soft softmax regression model first compute a score sk of x for each class k then estimates the probability of each class by applying the softmax function so so in the first so in the first step what is it is doing is that it is calculating the score also it is called logit it is called logit so 
what is this do that this x x is the features so if if you, it is a feature matrix or it is a column vector okay so suppose you have if you have n features then you will be having n plus 1 elements because one element that is bias uh, one element that is also what is usually taken as one that is associated with the bias so you will be having n plus 1 elements in in the row vector in the column vector and and theta to and theta k is the uh, is the dedicated parameter for the class k right so what what it will do then then you will simply in the mat, 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 if you apply the mat, matrix multiplication of this uh, the transpose of x with theta k then you will get a score that will be a number simply because this this is one uh, <coughs> so both x and theta k is is basically column vector and x transpose will be a row vector then if you multiply this two then you will get a number simply you will get a number that will be a score for a particular class k right so if you have three classes then you will get three scores s1 s2 and s3 and these scores are generally called the logits that I have discussed. In the, so basically this step is the linear regression step I have just written in the matrix format. So so, <coughs> so this is the first step and once you get that, once you have computed the score uh, of every class for the instant, you can estimate the probability. Okay, You can estimate the probability by uh, uh, probability pk that is the instant belongs to that means the estimated probability pk means the estimated probability that the instant belongs to class k by running the scores through the softmax function so this is the softmax function okay so this is the softmax function so basically what this function is computes the exponential of every score they normalize them that means dividing the sum of all the exp exponentials okay so this is the softmax operation and the scores are generally called and these scores all are called the logits okay and you are taking the exponential exponent of that thing okay so, and suppose pk denotes that the estimated probability that a particular that instance is belongs to k how much probability is that to, for that and here suppose total number of classes are k so you will take the summation over 1 to k for all the this exponent exponents of the logistic scores and logistic scores mean logits okay so this is the softmax operation for multinomial classification so in this context i would also like to tell you that so for logistic regression this is one of the good method rather than using a one versus rest approach that over approach or one versus uh, all approach that is you should use the softmax function because this this actually gives a number between 0 to 1 that is that can be interpreted as a probability estimated probability whether the instance the given instance is belongs to a, some classes what is the probability okay so you can generate k probabilities and whichever is greater you will take that that this this instance it will uh, the instance belongs to that class okay so but this this can can't be used in other classifier binary classifier suppose sbm there is no concept of uh, probability in that sense but the but but the, uh, in that case the over approach is usually used over or one versus all approach or one versus one approach okay so for logistic regression the sort mass function is usually used okay <coughs> so 
another thing i would like to use suppose you want to implement this thing using scikit learn library so how you can implement so this is pretty easy one thing you just need to change that is you have to change this multi class to this this multi class argument in scikit learn into multinomial so there is a multinomial nomial argument so you just need to change the by default this multi class is set to auto that means if you use your data set is a uh, is it, it has multi multiple classes then it will use simply auto means it will use either one versus rest approach but suppose you want a multinomial logistic regression approach then you must change this to multinomial okay <coughs> okay and you have to use the solver according to your choice okay <coughs> so th that's all for today and thank you for watching if you have any questions please let me know okay thank you